In this video, we're going to talk about bundle products, but before we start, there's something that's been bugging me a little bit. I've decided that the caffeine attribute options, decaf and yes, are just a little too awkward. And now they're also going to impact part of what we do with our bundle product. So I want to make just a quick change there. Part of working with a complex content management system like Magento or even others like Drupal, for instance, is knowing how to go back and change things that you've already put in place when it's possible to do so. So very quickly, let's go down to stores and under attributes, we're going to click product. And again, we want to change the caffeine attribute. So we're going to click on that. And right here where we have our two options, yes and decaf, we're just going to change yes to regular for both the admin and the default store view. This should be a little bit more clear. We'll click save attribute. And now we need to flush our cache as well. So we're going to go to cache management and it is the page cache. As we can see that needs to be flushed. So we'll submit that. And then very quickly, let's go to products and catalog. Even though we've changed the attribute options, the products that were automatically named based on those attributes, especially in particular, our house blend dash yes, it's not going to change the name of those automatically. It will change the attribute value will now be regular as opposed to decaf, as we can see right here, but it doesn't automatically change the name if it was named automatically based on the original value. So let's go here very quickly, click edit. And for the product name and SKU, let's change it from dash yes to dash regular. And we're done with that. We'll save and close. Now we're ready to create a bundle product. As usual, we're going to click the drop down arrow next to add product. And this time we're selecting bundle product. Bundle products are similar to configurable products. You can think of bundle products as customizable packages, not customizable products, but as a customizable selection of multiple products that will go together. A good use case for this would be a gift basket where you can choose which of multiple products you'd like to include. And that's actually exactly what we're going to do. Note that in a bundle product, the constituent products can be only simple or virtual products. We're going to keep a default attribute set for our gift basket because Basically, we're not going to break down every detail of every possible thing that could be in there, especially when there are things that are going to vary. So we're just going to leave this as default with no special attributes. Our product name is going to be the sunrise gift basket. We're going to keep dynamic SKU marked as yes. This basically determines whether Magento will automatically generate SKU based on the products that are being added to the bundle as opposed to us defining those SKUs manually, you almost always just want to keep it as yes and let Magento do that work for you. Dynamic price means that as customers add the options that we're going to allow them, as they add those optional products to this bundle, the price is going to go up according to the price of the products they add. Makes sense. If we want to, for whatever reason, we can make this just a flat price by turning this to no and setting the price here. That's obviously for very specific circumstances. And you want to be especially careful here that you don't give the customer the option to say, add as many of one product as they want, maybe a hundred bags of coffee. If the gift basket were to cost say a flat price of $50. So just be careful if you ever turn dynamic price off for a bundle product, we're going to keep it on in our case, scroll down a bit. Dynamic weight is just like dynamic product. As the customer adds products to this bundle, Magento will calculate the weight according to the products they add. Obviously that fits our purposes great. So we're going to keep that on now categories. Again, this is where we want the product to show up on our site, particularly in our menu system. This gift basket is going to include mugs and coffee. So we want it to show up in both of those areas of the website. So we'll select both of them and click done. And I'm not going to worry about any of this stuff. Let's go to content for a description. I'm going to grab some text from blindtextgenerator.com. Just add that lorem ipsum text in here. And then for the short description, as usual, I'm going to do a short version 
of that same thing. Then we get to bundle items. And this, as you might guess, is really the meat of our configuration for the bundle product. Our first option is pretty simple. Whether the items will be shipped together or separately, obviously this is going to depend on what your bundle product is, what your customers expect. In this case, with something like a gift basket, it makes sense to keep everything together. So we'll check that. And then we're going to add an option. So we're gonna click add option. And for reasons that will become clear in just a minute, you can have different groups of options as opposed to one list of all of the options that someone can have for their bundle product. So let's just take this a little bit by little bit. The first option is going to be what type of coffee they're going to include in the gift basket. We're gonna say this gift basket again is a combination of some coffee and some mugs. So this first option is just gonna be called coffee. For the input types, we can have a drop down box, radio buttons, check boxes, or a multiple select list. Let's go with radio buttons this time. We can mark whether it's required or not. Let's keep this required. We'll say if you're buying this gift basket, then you do have to select one of the coffees that are your options. And once we have these settings in place, we're going to add our products to this option. So we're gonna add both of our coffees the house blend decaf and the house blend regular. We're gonna check both of these, then scroll up a little bit and click add selected products. So here are our two products that are the options for the coffee section of this gift basket. Note that you can reorganize them by clicking on this icon and dragging. Let's put regular on top because most people will probably expect that to be the first option. And most people are probably going to want regular over decaf, so we'll set that as the default as well. And then we have default quantity and user defined. Now these two options can get a little bit confusing at first in some situations, particularly if your input type is one that allows you to choose multiple options, such as checkbox or multiple select. With radio buttons, if we set user defined, and this is also true for drop down, I should say, but we're going with radio buttons for this or for drop down. If you select user defined, then your user can change the quantity of this item that they're adding to the bundle. So we're going to say that our default quantity is one. So when a user selects this, they're adding one bag of our one pound coffee bean central house blend. If we wanted the user to be able to change that again, only for radio buttons or drop down input, then we would keep this checked. But let's just say that we want to only have one bag of coffee in this gift basket for whatever reason. We're going to deselect user defined. So in that case, default quantity is really just the quantity because they can't change it. So this is set to one and it's always gonna be one because they can't customize this. And that's fine. So we're gonna go with default quantity one. Again, this is required. So the customer is gonna to have to choose one of these. We need to set default quantity here as one as well. And as a quick side note, you probably would never do this, but just note that you should never put zero as the default quantity for anything in here. That kind of gets a little bit wonky with Magento and sometimes it'll end up with situations where the default quantity is zero, but you can still add it to your bundle. Magento turns it from zero into one. It gets a little weird. So just avoid putting zero in the default quantity field in any scenario. But again, to recap, with radio buttons, the user will select one of these. This is the default, the regular. Since they cannot change the quantity, the default quantity is the only quantity, and they're adding one bag of this when they select this option. Hopefully that's pretty clear.